we found some sort of a creature living in the septic tank here on my property. Wait, I think I saw something right there. Whatever the lemurs were potentially seeing in here is now somewhere in this pipe. Did you see that? Where? There was movement over there in that corner. We're going down again and let's lift up. I'm, wait. Oh my gosh! What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day. For those of you that are new here, well I'm Jacob, welcome to the channel and welcome to my jungle. If you guys saw the title and thumbnail, well you will know that we found some sort of a creature living in the septic tank here on my property. I'm not going to tell you guys anymore, but it was absolutely insane. If you guys are wondering if we caught it where it is now, well, I'm not gonna tell you, you're gonna have to wait, but basically, we noticed something in the drains of my lemur enclosure. The lemurs were acting really crazy. My sister actually found it, Hannah's here right now, and we did some investigating. We opened up the septic tank, and we found a creature, maybe two creatures, living inside. It was absolutely insane, so if you wanna see what was living in my septic tank, well, you guys are in the right place. But before we actually hop into that, well, I have a special message from today's sponsor. And before we go any further with today's video, well, I just want to give a special thank you to Vessi for sponsoring today's video. And for those of you that don't know about Vessi, well, Vessi makes some really cool sneakers. Sneakers that are going to change your life. So let me stop talking about it and let me show you. And here they are. This right here is the shoes that Vessi sent me. So these are perfect for your everyday use. And they also sent me the Cityscape sneakers, which are like this really cool color black gray like material now these shoes right here they look normal but they are anything but normal Vessi actually uses a proprietary Dymatex material which is this dual knit fiber which keeps your shoes completely waterproof and they're just so comfortable lightweight and there's also no animal byproducts so these shoes are hundred percent vegan let's stop talking about it let's get them on okay there they are we've got them on and look at these these shoes are stylish they're sleek and they're 100% waterproof, which is exactly what I need in my day-to-day -day life. So let's go outside and put them to the test and spray some monkey poop. When you live in a zoo and you've got poop to clean, well, Bessie's is the shoes for you because when you're cleaning poop and your shoes get wet, well, guys, they are 100% waterproof. My shoes are drenched, but guess what? When the shoes are off, guess what? We're 100% dry. I mean, these shoes are seriously the best. Whether you're cleaning monkey poop, out in the snow, or python hunting in the Everglades, Vessi's waterproof shoes are the shoes for me. If you don't believe me, try them for yourself. Vessi actually has an incredible offer for all of you guys, my loyal subscribers. Well, if you guys go right now, click the link in the description, use my code Jacob. Well, guess what? You guys are gonna get $25 off any pair of adult Vessi shoes. And now that you guys get to hear about Vessi and all of their incredible products, well, I know you guys are dying to find out what was in my septic tank. So guys, we're gonna hop right into that. Okay, so you guys are not gonna believe it, but Hannah right now is outside. Oh, it looks like we're going into heaven. Oh. <laughs> Hannah's outside right now, and she just called me on the phone and said, Jacob, grab your camera. You're not gonna, oh, I guess she got sprayed with water. Hannah said, grab your camera. Jacob, you're not gonna wanna miss this, that she was cleaning the lemur enclosure out right here, and she said that the lemurs were reaching in their hands in the drain and making crazy noises as if there was some sort of an animal in there. Hannah? We're here to do some investigation. Jacob, work. you're not going to believe it. Literally, you just missed it. They were screaming as they do. They carried on for some time, and there is definitely something up, guys. So, Hannah is cleaning the lemur's enclosure as we do every day, twice a day. We spray all the poop down into that drain. We're going to go in there in a second, and it all leads to a septic tank over there. And then we have Mrs. Rue. This is Rue, my female black and white lemur. And then we have Rufus, the prize son, my favorite little lemur, and probably my favorite animal here. Hi, Rufus. Hey, Rue. So, Hannah, you think there's, what do you think is, is going on? I, I honestly have no idea. I definitely think something is in there because, Wait, you know, wait, 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 wait. You think something, like, so, like an animal is in the drain. It has to be. Like, there's an, wait, wait. So, like, what are we dealing with? So, right now, Hannah's saying that she thinks the lemurs were going after an animal in the drain. They were literally grabbing their hands and sticking their hands in the drain really aggressively and they only do that when they're trying to defend their cage. Yeah, when they're trying to defend their enclosure from unwanted visitors. So the only thing that I think could fit in there would be like, wait, wait, let's go inside first and, and check it out before we discuss what it could be. Let, let's go in. You want to do that? Yeah, let, let, let's do it. All right, let's go. All right, we're going on in and we're here with little Rue, my favorite little lemur. Hi, Miss Rue. Well, she's, guys, she's, she's not my favorite. 
No, I'm just kidding. She is. So we have Miss Rue here. Hannah has Rufus. So we each have our favorites here. Hannah with yes. Rufus and me with Rue. My little boy see. combing me. Rufus is combing Hannah. And Rue, where are you going, Rue? So this right here is the drain in, qu in question. So Hannah's going to kind of show what we do every single day. So Hannah is just spraying all of the poop down into the drain. And all right, stop for a second. So the lemurs were literally trying to reach their hands down in the... Wait. I think I saw something right there. You yeah, it was in that general area. Yeah, right so there. I, there was some. It was like right here. Yeah. Okay. Like in this All right, area. we're touching monkey poop. Rufus wants to know. Rufus, what is what is in there, sir? Rufus? Sir, I need a I, sir. Can you have an interview? So there could definitely be something in the drain, but it'd have to be something that like fit in here. Like, what do you think? I don't know, maybe like baby frogs or I don't know, maybe like a snake. I mean, look how skinny this is. Like, yeah, this. My finger can barely fit in there. Yeah, very skinny. So I think the next thing that we need to do, I think I'm going to go, Hannah, I'm going to go get a screwdriver okay. and we're going to open the drain and see what we can find. I'm back. I've got the screwdriver. So Hannah, will you do the honors and open the drain up? Yes, yeah, so let's get this drain. Yeah, so up Hannah's going to do it. So, so what's start that? right there on that little hole. So Hannah's going to unscrew this and maybe then we'll be able to see what's inside. We're going. It's getting unscrewed, I think. Is that Is it? Is that ready? Wait, no, it's got more. Wait. All right, I'm going to do this by hand. All right, I got this screw. We don't want to... Okay. We can't lose these. <laughs> so Hannah's going to keep unscrewing the drain, and we will be back with all of you once we're done. One minute, 37 seconds later. All right, and... I we think... got the last screw out, guys. So, so Hannah, let me see that. We've okay. got the last screw out. So, Hannah, do you want to be the one to open the drain or me? Uh, what do you think? Do you want me to do uh, it or go, you? Go for it. So, okay. guys, we're going to see what we can find in here in three, two, one. Oh. oh my okay, so. Goodness. So, all right, Hannah, spray all that down the drain. So, all right, stop. That's going down the drain, but. We're not seeing any animal in here because the drain ends there and goes to here. So, oh my gosh, how it far must, does that go back? Uh, well, it goes all the way here, all the way over there, and it ends it behind Nebula's enclosure, Hannah. Oh, this whatever was in here could literally be anywhere. So at this point, okay. So this is not good. This means that whatever the lemurs were potentially seeing in here is now somewhere in this pipe that runs. I don't know. It's got to run at least 75, 100 feet. So, you know what? We can, we actually have a septic tank that we can open up, a giant septic tank, and that's where everything from in here goes. Really? So, what I'm thinking, Hannah, is I think we need to check the septic tank. Let's do it. All right. So, guys, we're going to get this drain closed on up, and we're going to go open up the septic tank and see what we can find. So we're out of the lemurs enclosure now and we have made it to what I believe is ground zero for our problem. This right here is the large septic tank. So this is where all the drains actually go into from Nebula's enclosure to the lemurs. And Hannah, I think something is, uh, I think something's in there. I, I definitely think there's something in there. So Hannah's going to actually hold the camera for me and we actually, hand me the net please. Okay. Um, we've got our net. We already got the net because I don't want to go in septic water. This is going to be some gross stuff. So I want to be able, if we can find it, to scoop whatever is possibly in here out. So here goes nothing, guys. We're going to kind of open this on up with a screw just like this. I've opened this up probably twice since it's been put in here. So, guys, I'm going to get to opening this up, and I'll be back with you when we're done. One hour later. Okay. And I think we're ready to pop this on open. I think we're ready. So let's kind of... Take this screwdriver underneath here and oh, guys, oh we're in. Oh my okay. gosh. All right, we're gonna open it up right now, but what I need you to do first, guys, comment down below what you think we're gonna find inside of this septic tank. I mean, I don't know what we're gonna find, but there's only one way to find out, and let's slide it on open right now. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. gosh. Oh my gosh, there's Ew. hundreds of mosquitoes. <laughs> Look, there's thousands upon thousands of larvae from mosquitoes in here. You guys can oh see that. Oh my gosh, that's insane. Look at all of that. So that's all mosquito larvae. I don't know if you guys can really see on camera the larvae, but... Oh, it reeks, Jacob. It's really bad, so... Oh my, oh my god, come here. Come here, what, let me what, show you what? this. So that right there is the drain where everything is coming from. Right there, you can see it's dripping out. So whatever was in the drain at the lemurs could be right in there. How deep does this go? I don't know how deep it goes. What do you think? I Oh, did you see that? Where? There was movement over there in that corner. No. Did you not see that? I did not see it. So 
What there did you? Like what? A, a something. Something. I don't, I don't know. So, it so you guys right see what we're dealing with? This is literally a hole in the freaking ground oh right here. Do, should we net it? What do you yeah, think? Yeah, I think so. Cause do you, you don't know how deep this goes, do you? I think this thing is like this. I think this thing goes down like eight feet. So, do you think we should net? Should we put a net in there? I think so, cause there is no way me or you are going in there. <laughs> no, guys, there's absolutely no way. So I guess our only options are to to actually net in here. There's thousands of mosquito larvae, so I guess we gotta figure out which one of us is doing that. All right, so I guess I'm on netting duty. Hannah, where did you see it? it oh, was, I see movement right there. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Ah! Look at all the mosquitoes. Oh. oh. I got nothing but nothing. really smelly water. Okay. Oh All right. My God. So this actually extends right here. So let's go on in and see you down. Let's go. We're going to sink this net way down in. And as oh. you can see, oh, it keeps going. <gasps> Jacob, I think you need to jump in. I think no. Okay. Let's scoop up. And oh, man, oh. this is rotten. So as you can see, the septic tank is doing its job. There's not much Ooh. debris in here. And let's lift it up again. Okay, oh, this is really nasty. All right, we're going down again, and let's lift up. I'm, wait. Oh my gosh! What? Do you not see that? No. Do you not see that? Pull the net up. Okay, I'm oh. seeing the reflection. Oh, there's a snake! There's a brown water snake! No! Oh my gosh. Guys, brown water yeah. snake. Freaking out. Going crazy. Look at that, that just came out. No, no way. way. So, oh, it's oh going after you, Hannah. Okay, so brown water snake and I'm gonna come here to get him right now. One, two. Okay, oh. we caught him. Just like that, brown water snake out of the septic tank. What that do you think of this, insane. Hannah? All right, you wanna hold, wait. Does he smell? Oh. Smell, smell it, Hannah. Oh. Okay, oh I'm covered in septic tank water, but I am shocked and can't believe that this water snake was literally in my septic tank. Now I live near a bunch of canals and I Gosh. find a lot of snakes here on my property and around. So this is crazy, but it doesn't surprise me, Hannah. Are you no, surprised? No, not at all. I'm not surprised that this happened, but. I was a little spooked when it started, I, I, yeah. started uh, coming at us. Yeah, a little spooked for sure. That was absolutely insane. So I think we found what the lemurs were after. This is crazy, and if you look at this water snake, it's really fat, so I suspect that this snake could be having a bunch of babies here very soon. So, well, I think we're gonna hop on off. We're gonna go put this guy at a canal that's literally right at the back of my property, and well, that's gonna end today's episode. Hope all you guys did enjoy watching today's septic tank snake removal <laughs> so crazy insane, so guys. so insane so guys if you enjoyed today's video please make sure to give this video a thumbs up comment down below if you think there's more of these crazy serpents lurking in my septic tank guys if you're not subscribed yet you want to see more crazy videos like this you want to see tigers lions turtles and tortoises and all kinds of crazy animals well, guys what are you waiting for go right now hit the subscribe button subscribe to her channel down below and i'll see you guys in the next video